everyone, it's Miss Allison. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Guys, you're getting your short stories back, so I had a chance to read them. Super impressed, you did a phenomenal job. So let's take a look at how you're gonna get your feedback and then what it means moving forward in case you do want to revise or rewrite, okay? So let's take a look here. First thing, I'm going to the grades tab on Schoology. Now I am pretending to view this as Miss V, so you'll notice like she does not have any grades in, right? For you, you should see grades. So. Right here, you're going to go to formative work and you're going to look at your short story draft. And when you click on it, it's going to take you to your short story. So that's how you're going to get to it. Now I'm going to show you in this example here, this is the fun they had. Um, but pretend this is your short story. So you'll open it and you'll be like, wow, cool. All of the things I highlighted. But wait, there's no comments. Did she really read this? What's going on? Whoop, there we go. At the bottom, you will notice that checklist that we used during your um, final process as you guys were making it a final story. So this is the checklist that you will use for your feedback. So you'll notice that you have your checklist along with, if you scroll down to the bottom, you will see a small comment from yours truly. You can also click right here to see your comment history, okay? So what you're gonna do guys is you're gonna take a look at this feedback. Remember each criteria here is showing you where you are. So you're either not yet starting to or yes. And we were aiming for that yes category. So hopefully you were able to see a lot of yeses on your rubric, which means you are good to go, okay? So if it's a yes, that's looking good. If it's a starting to, that's a place to go back and look at. You might wanna go a little bit deeper. So for instance, I know that this person needs to work on their conflict. When I read that and think about the conflict, I'm like, oh, okay. So it's not very clear because it asks for a clear one. Uh, and maybe it needs to be told a little bit differently through character actions or words or thoughts. Okay, so I know that. We got some other yeses and theme symbol organization looking good. Oh, elaboration is also a starting to. So I developed complicated story elements. Mm, maybe I need more of that. Or, oh, I didn't use dialogue. That's what I was asked to do and I didn't do that. So that was starting to, okay? And then I had some yeses. And then down here, there was one more. Oops, I messed up on my spelling a few times. So that was also a starting to. No biggie, right? So if I was this person, I know exactly what I wanna go back and work on right now. I have three areas of focus. I'm gonna go back and look at the conflict. I'm gonna go back and look at my uh, elaboration, to, um, specifically the dialogue, and then my spelling. And you'll notice a comment again down here from me. Um, so this says, nice job, Isaac. This offers great use of characterization and symbols. Thanks for sharing. And you might be thinking like, what? That's that's a quick, I, I spent hours on this. I know you did. It shows, right? So when you're looking at this, this is your feedback, guys. This checklist has a lot of good things going on. This is just a quick little, hey, thanks so much from me, okay? Office hours is your friend. So as you're thinking about when can I come talk to Miss Alice and what should I be doing? Office hours, please, please, please come to office hours. I would love to go over your story more. That gives us a lot of good one-on-one -on -one time to talk about these things. And if you would like to revise, you may. We're gonna open up this next week here for you to revise. So if you if that's something that's interesting to you, go for it. You can check that grade again on Schoology, see how you did, and then we can revise, all right? I hope this makes sense. If not, please come visit me in office hours or send me a quick email. And thank you again for sharing your writing.